right, good morning, grade seven. So we're gonna go over. I hope you all are well, by the way. This is my sweeting hair. And we're gonna go over how to blend with coloring pencil. So I already started here with the basic mango shape. Do it in pencil, get the outline, and put your table line in. So you can see I've added the green values, the green and yellow values that are at the bottom of the fruit there. And now I'm gonna start to bring in the orange tones and the orange and the yellow tones and then the red tones, okay? So I'm seeing as well that there is still more yellow in there. You all are at a slightly different angle than I am at, but that's okay. And you just wanna take your coloring pencil and glide it along the page. So good thing about this fruit is that the undertone of this seems to be all yellow and you'll see that with all fruits mostly that they have the same sort of undertone throughout and just different values so I'm just gradually building on the color light value right there which is about right here so I'm gonna keep that to know I'm gonna sort of mark it out a little bit just a little bit so that I know to leave that area white now I'm gonna come in with some of my orange tones here and you can see I started to do that already but the shapes are sort of organic Just want to blend them all together. your best to blend with the different colors but if you find that you're having trouble you could go ahead and use a white crayon pencil that will help blend everything together really nicely so now I'm taking the red at the top which is lightly shading because the light is shining here all of these values will be lighter between the colors. So it's a bit of a red orange, so I'm gonna add a little red in here as well. And the shadow, the light is shining here, which would mean this would be the lighter areas and this would be the darker areas. So when you come down here towards the bottom of the fruit, you're gonna wanna press harder, use more pressure with your coloring pencil to get the darker values. And you can even come in with a black or a dark brown at the very edge. To ensure you're showing the darker values. go 
the fence quickly. Just so I can show you all, because when you have your lighter values up here, you don't want to add too much pressure with the colors because it can start looking dark. So I'm just going to blend it here with the white. And you can see how nicely that blends with the white color and pencil. this section here you can see that it's pretty brown so I would start with the dark brown this is if you're doing a mango but it applies to all fruits you can see with an apple it has indentation up here as well shiny value, a light value, a super, a really light value right there. So I'm going to leave that blank as well, right here. You might not see that from the angle I'm showing you it, but it is there. the shade. So I'm going to leave this value right here, the white value. Skip it. And when you get to the indentation, it helps to sort of shade in a curved motion. So you all remember curved lines, when we did curved lines, I'm just putting a yellow to start. I'm going to come in with a little bit of orange. A little bit of orange in here. I'm going to stay really light because this area is really light. So I'm not going to apply a lot of pressure with my pencil. off when you come here. 
pressure off of your pencil. Same as up here. continue doing that. Thank you all very much. I hope this is, that this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.